Tuesday. Welcome back to my weekly vlog. So this is vlog number two. Um, I'm just getting ready to go and shoot with Lissy, but I thought that I would quickly give you a little bit of an eyebrow tutorial because I get asked about it so many times. So as you can see, I have done the rest of my makeup and now it's just for the eyebrows. So this is what my eyebrows sort of look like naturally. They are quite thick, but definitely not as thick as I would like them to be. And I'm using just a normal bar of soap. Um, again, a lot of people ask me what sort of soap I use. This can be any bar in the world. Okay, so I just have a normal glass of water. I'm gonna have a sip of that. Actually dip my eyebrow brush in that. Rub that on the to the soap, just as follows. Sort of make sure that the brush is coated in soap. And all you need to do is brush it the opposite way. This makes them really fluffy. So if you can see what I'm doing. So literally just like that. And then brush them up. Now I have had my eyebrows waxed like a week ago so they're not as long as they are normally. But I'm just gonna show you the difference between them. So already you can see that there is quite a lot of difference. That's made them a lot bigger and a lot fluffier. I'm just gonna go over it just to make sure. My sister actually showed me how to do this. She, um, when I did an eyebrow tutorial on my stories, she actually took full credit on her own stories because she taught me fully how to do it. Anyway, so that is the finished product with the soap. Then obviously I'm gonna do the other one. Doing eyebrows is like my favourite thing ever. Now she did, she being my sister, did buy me eyebrow soap. She bought me that brow soap and that is amazing actually. But I haven't used normal soap for like a couple of weeks so I just wanted to give it another try again. And to be fair, the soap might actually be better only because it holds my brows more. I think if you have like fine brows, you're all good. Um, but I've got quite thick hair. It takes quite a lot to keep the eyebrows up, so already they're looking loads better. This one is always the one that takes longer for me. The other eyebrow is so easy. Okay, but yeah. There you go, you can sort of see what I've done there. Okay, and then the last step is to use the MAC uh, pen. So this is the Shape and Tint and it's in shade Spiked. It's literally like a felt tip pen if you can see. And all I'm going to do with that is very, very thin brow strokes. And most of these strokes are up. So if you see what I'm doing, I'm trying to do it so you can see it, but also so I can get that precision in my own mirror. I think I've done that a little bit too much, actually. So that's the ends done. These With these tail ends, I do try and make them thicker. As my sister refers to them, it's a flat brow. She's a beautician, by the way. She's not just like a random brow expert. Okay. So you want to try and leave it sort of gappy so it doesn't look too overdrawn. But can you see already the difference there? Look at that. Like I said, the other eyebrow is a lot easier than this one. And if you make a mistake with this, you can literally just sort of wipe it off, which is really good. Um, yeah, like I'm already loving these brows, to be fair. This is where the hard bit is, filling this brow for me. I actually, when I was a little girl, walked in <laughs> to a door, knocked myself out. And so I've got a scar on this eyebrow right at the front here. So it's a lot more time consuming to fill that up. Okay. But, can you see? They already look miles better. Then I, I literally just leave that to dry for about a minute. And then all I do is wipe this clean. And then I just very gently brush them up again. You don't want to brush all the product out. Um, this is also today's makeup. So I've done my freckles again. Quite a natural look, and I've used my Shantakai on the cheeks. That's the highlighter, and it's amazing. So, literally, just very gently brush them through. You want to keep the feathery effect on them. 
this one. You always do have one eyebrow that's easier than the other. And ta-da! I'm just going to pick you up to properly have a look. That is what they look like. I love like glowy skin. I'm just going to go in there, mind my spots, but yeah. And it honestly takes, as you've just seen, five minutes to do them. So much better. I still want my eyebrows better and bigger. But this will do for now. So I'm going to go get ready now because I'm running a little bit late. Got to do some ironing because I've got to get an Uber to Lissy's. So I need to make sure that everything's packed like as small as possible. So I'm not like the bag lady. So I'll check in later. Bye. <laughs> filming so this is what I've got on and it's freaking cold today in Manchester and look how bright she is <laughs> just show you some of my new items that I've just got um so that is what I'm gonna do I feel like I don't really sort of show enough on Instagram of all of the new clothes that I get so I'm gonna start probably doing it on here sort of some unboxing although today's not an unboxing um just things that I buy from the shops and order online because why not picked this gorgeous tan it's like a blazer jacket, I would say. And I just love it. Like, I tried it on you. Probably would have seen that the other day um, on Instagram stories. I put a buy or not to buy. And obviously, it came home with me. But I feel like it's like Josephine, if everyone follows her on Instagram. Like her green one, but a tan version. So, it's from Urban Renewal in Urban Outfitters. It was £85. We just got this Balenciaga tea as well. And I'm in love with it. It's just, obviously, it's very, very plain. Um, and I saw it on one of the Nikki sisters, just some influencers that I follow online. And I just love the blue with the black. So let me just turn it round for you. So that's the back of it. Very, very plain, but very, very minimal. And I can't wait to wear it. I've got these Bershka boots as well delivered. And as you can see, they're so dreamy. I actually I'm in love they're really really comfortable as well so they're quite a low heel actually which is not something I normally go for but I'm just loving the cowboy vibe at the moment so I can't wait to give them a little try I had a pretty little thing delivery and this is what I just got sent I actually love it they also sent me these boots which are like patent leather and croc let me pick one up so dreamy I actually am in love. So I'm gonna go and shoot those today, I think. That's like quite a lot. What do you do with your day? Well, today I am doing a how to style a hoodie three different ways video for Instagram, which is something that I've only just started actually doing recently. But it seems to go down quite well. So this is the first outfit. And if you see behind, this is how I set everything up. So I've got, because I haven't got a tripod specifically for my phone, this is what I resort to. Three shoe boxes on top of each other. And this is where I do my little tiny setup. Hello! So I am back. I've been doing admin all day as well as the videos. And now I'm just waiting for Beck to get here. Look how red my ears are, can I just say? Because I've straightened my hair, so they've just gone so freaking red. That on fire. Put my neon polo under my Speed Hunters tee so I can wear it as a dress. And then I've got boots on. It's going to be absolutely freezing, so I feel like maybe I'm going to have to put like a big fur coat even over my blazer. But yes, and this is today's makeup. So, freckles. 
I've used my uh, Shantikai highlight again today, which I absolutely love. I feel like it gives you such a natural dewy finish. <laughs> somewhere really nice to eat but that's healthy <sighs> and ends up we're going for fish and chips because that's the only place Beck will eat because no. she's fucking fussy mate I don't want balls <laughs> and I don't want pasta I, I just want chicken Is that so much to ask for the not everywhere places. does chicken I've told you we've been to haven't done chicken well one of them didn't it was fucking spicy <laughs> There's a guy that's taking up four spaces for one. It's pissing me off because we want to get one. So Beck's gonna go and ask him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally so hungry. She's always hungry. <laughs> that looks so yummy. Are you nice fish and chips. I don't even like these. Do. Morning my lovelies. It is Thursday today. Um, I've just got ready because one of my friends from home, or my best friend from home, Alice, is coming up from Nottingham to see me for the day, which should be so nice. I think we're gonna go and get some Japanese food, uh, maybe do a bit of shopping, go for coffee, and just generally catch up. And I might have to ask her to do a couple of pictures for me, which I'm sure she loves to do. But I'm gonna keep you updated anyway. Mine and Beck's meal last night was just so good, but my stomach today is not feeling great from it because I had things I probably shouldn't have had. So with my makeup, I have got just my lip liner on today, not the orange colour. And I think I also quite like it, to be fair. The weather outside isn't too bad, which is great because every time Alice comes, it's raining. So that's good. <laughs> Mama, which was so yummy, wasn't it? Very good. And now yeah, a noodle baby. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've just made Alice do loads of shoots of me. I'm not, yeah. And I don't mind it, actually. I quite enjoy it, but everyone else is just so it's like really everyone weird. literally is just stirring everywhere because we're in the centre. And now we're gonna go to Eminence and get some dinner for me. And then do a bit of shopping and then I've got to walk this one back to the station. Good morning. It is is it? It's Friday. Um, it's so echoey at the moment. I'm just doing a shoot for Public Desire and then I've also got Rebellious Fashion. So today's quite a busy day. Um, then we are going to head to Dan's house because we're going out for a couple of family meals this weekend. And I'm going to take all of my admin to do because I've got hella. But yeah, so I'm wearing this full length sort of hooded dress by Public Desire and their shoes. Loads of you that watch my Instagram stories would have seen that I was sold some fake Balenciaga Triple S trainers. And everyone was just so nice about it and I got so much feedback um, and understood that it was happening to loads of other people as well. So update on it is I've had my full refund except for postage. I keep emailing him and I'm not actually hearing anything back so now I'm going to open another case on PayPal. The guy picked the wrong bitch. Anyway, I decided yesterday, very sort of randomly, that instead of buying another pair of Balenciaga Triple S, which is what I intended to do, I thought I would surprise Dan with a trip to Stockholm. Yay! Uh, we've both wanted to go for ages, him especially. So booked it last night and he's like absolutely buzzing. Just thought maybe it was better than having a pair of trainers for like less than what I was going to pay for them. We're having like a memory and experience. We're going there in March, which should be so exciting. I'm just thinking of like all of the shooting spots, the food, everything like that. Um, so I'm going to quickly just give you a little glimpse of the hotel. So we're staying at a hotel called Hobo um, and I am now going to show it you. This is it. And we've actually, oh, look at all the things in the way. 
We've actually ended up getting a king room as well. But how cool does this look? Like, I love the interior. Absolute goals. I'm just thinking like it's very, very quirky. So hopefully I'll be able to also get some content within that. Obviously, I don't know why I'm flicking through the gym. But yeah, look at that bathroom. Goals. So it should be super exciting. Dan's mum's now, and we're talking about Stockholm. Where are we going? Stockholm. How excited are you? Buzzing. We're buzzing. So we're just doing a bit of research um, of where to go and things like that. And any recommendations would be very, very welcome. <laughs> 